Look. Hey guys, welcome back to Sip, Savor, and Celebrate. I'm Chris. I'm Cody. And I'm Devin. Take two. I'm just saying. No. <laughs> we got our fish bowls out. What does that mean? It's Whiskey Wednesday. Or, That's right. in this case, Scotch Wednesday. This is going to be a Scotch. And this was voted number one whiskey of 2023. And that means over all whiskey spirits. So bourbons are included in that as Correct. well. Right. Bourbon scotch. Is so the reason that they're saying that this one won. Okay. Is because it uses part of the field only gets sunshine when it's making that malt and that barley and everything okay. that goes into a scotch. So they are saying that this is kind of like the shade scotch. So, you know, you're going to see a little bit more. Um, and what is it called? Glenn Glass and... Glenn Glassich Sanded. And so this distillery has... <laughs> been around on the north coast of Scotland for a long time. This is definitely imported from Scotland. Um, the non-age statement expression name for the bay oh, offshore is not. bright and delicate. Ooh. I'm not mad at the bottle smell. You want to smell from the bottle? I know Ooh, that's your thing. No, I'm good. Mm. I, that does smell I pretty am good. I'm not going to lie. So they talk about the things that that they are known for on the nose. And I'm not going to lie. They are not disappointing. I get dried fruits, like prunes or apricots or something, plum maybe. Oh, that smells just, just, it's kind of like a, a sweet, a sweetness from dried fruits. That's where I'm getting. Okay. Are you there? Do you get any? Like what do you get? fresh smell at a granary. Okay, so you're getting like a vegetal type. Yeah. Okay. So they are known for their citrus and minerality leading to a luscious palate, is, is how they say it. So... In this specific bottle, you should get peach, apricot, honey, pound cake, vanilla, with a touch of sea salt. I get all that. That's that then weird. turns spicy um, to round out the complexion. Yeah. Man, that is nice. I'm not going to lie. For I'm not a huge scotch fan. I found a few that I liked. I did like the recommendation. Uh, that we got from the uh, owner of of We the haven't Forwards. even clinked yet. I didn't drink. Oh boy. Yes, called out on camera. <laughs> there you go, Saluga. <laughs> For scotch, that is super smooth and super nice. Slight sweetness from dried fruits. Little bit of, what is that? I'm getting like a pepper. Yeah, I get like a white pepper, but not, not a black pepper, but like a white pepper. So it's softer, almost. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wow, that is actually really good. So their big secret to this one is they open and close the barrels. And that's what imparts all this stuff into it. This actually, Glastonomch. Glen Glassage. Yeah, that's what we're going with. <laughs> that's what I said. Um, was sure actually bought in 2016 by Jack Daniels. Was it really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. That's impressive. But they're still using the 150-year-old method of opening and closing the barrels just briefly to impart new things into it as it ages. The master distiller is Rachel Barbie? Yeah, Barbie. Rachel Barbie. Huh. 
Well, there you got it. I mean, honestly, a first scotch, this is probably one of the better ones that I've ever had. Um, really smooth. Um, because I've had some other ones, you know, like the, the Johnny Walker, that's, that's going to punch you in the face. Um, <laughs> you know, that's my thoughts. This is super smooth. Um, it's not overly sweet. It's not super dry. It's kind of like middle of the road, but the flavors dance around the palate and I, I enjoy it. What are you thinking? I mean, I'd recommend it. It's some of the better ones I've had. I'm not, I'm and eighty-five dollars for a good scotch is actually not bad. Right, it's very I mean, well. Look at McAllen's. McAllen's has just got this name that is overshadowing the juice that's actually inside. Right. Is McAllen's good? Oh my God! Yeah, McAllen's is amazing, and I think it's great. But is it like a hundred and eighty dollars, three hundred dollars worth? Okay. I think I would rather reach for this than a McCallum's. I'm not disagreeing, but I love the spice and the deep, bold flavors you get out of a McCallum. So that's like me saying, are you going to reach for a Fortaleza, which I know is one of your favorites, or are you going to go for an Espelon? You know, they're very great, and they both have their markets. Not even in the same realm. They are, Come too. On. They are they are too. They're not close at all. They are, too. They're both tequila. <laughs> no. Anywho, guys, we really do appreciate you turning in on this Whiskey Wednesday. Hopefully, you've made it there without any bail money like we have. <laughs> in with the bail money. <laughs> But always remember to sip, savor, and celebrate. Salud. 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 Oh, there we go. <laughs>